Welcome to the CTB News Channel, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the hottest news of the day. Our newsletter today includes the following, the traumatized senior former research beagle has been adopted by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the royal couple of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are expecting their first child, Mama MIA, an elderly beagle, was rescued from a Virginia breeding facility run by Invigo RMS and adopted by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex last month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are the kindest, most kind, and most attentive adoptive parents I've ever come across. Attorney Shannon Keith, who manages BFP and advocates for animals' rights. They have been a great supporter of the Beagle Freedom Project, and we are grateful that they adopted a puppy from our shelter that had been mistreated. When faced with a choice between adopting a puppy or an older dog, the couple went with the latter. They adopted an elderly rescue dog named M.I.A. who has health problems and emotional scars from her past. As Keith puts it, their dedication to animal care blew me away. They have been in touch to tell us that Mama M.I.A. is thriving in her new, wonderful home, over the course of the day, for thousand beagles like Mama M.I.A. were removed from the facility and transferred to various animal shelters across the country. The New York Times reported that an inquiry into the facility that breeds the dogs for medical research revealed evidence of underfed, unwell, and damaged pups, as well as dogs who were euthanized rather than receiving medical attention. Our goal at Envigo is to facilitate our clients' ability to conduct cutting-edge medical and scientific studies, which will, in turn, lead to substantial advancements in the quality of life for humans and other sentient beings. Our primary concern has always been and always will be for the well-being of animals, according to the Los Angeles Times, after Mama M.I.A. and her litter of eight puppies. Were initially housed in Maryland, she was transferred to the Beagle Freedom Project's rescue facility in San Fernando Valley. Prince Harry, who is 37, and Markle, who is 41, have given her a loving, permanent home. Keith told the LA Times, the Duchess called me directly, about the beginning of the royal adoption process. But Keith mistook her for another Meghan who was just as well known. Hey Shannon, this is Meghan, Keith recalls her saying when she contacted his cell phone without showing up in caller ID. We chatted for half an hour before I asked myself, is this Meghan Fox, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, along with Prince Harry and two bodyguards, paid a visit to the rescue center? a charming San Fernando Valley house where Keith once resided, after learning that Markle was the person she had been corresponding with, after spending time with Mama M.I.A. in the backyard, the two decided to bring her in permanently. They were set on getting an older dog, and the Duchess was seen petting M.I.A. and declaring, We're adopting her, according to Keith. No, we don't want a Christmas puppy, she firmly stated. We're looking for the elderly ones so we can aid them, Markle has already taken in a rescued beagle. She adopted Guy in 2015, not long after he was brought into a dog's dream rescue, Markle contacted the organization through email at the time after viewing its Petfinder profile. A dog's dream rescue owner and founder Dolores Doherty agreed, and she sent Markle an adoption application through email. Ten minutes later, she brought it back finished, Doherty extended an invitation to visit the pet store where her group would be holding an adoption event soon. After meeting Guy and going on a trial walk with him, Markle immediately fell for him. After the former Suits star shared multiple images of herself cuddling with Guy to her, now deleted, Instagram account, Doherty realized she had made the right choice in adopting out Guy to Megan.